morning, Daniel Spatz from Miami. Uh, as you can see, we had some rain early, we couldn't play, but we are here for you, uh, giving a more uh, uh, inside, more tips for, for your tennis, eh? uh, for uh, trying to get uh, uh, better uh, in every single department. Eh? We, we already discussed tactics, how to beat counterpunchers, uh, uh, aggressive players, uh, we talk about the intangibles, mental toughness. Today the topic is very interesting. We're going to discuss the mental preparation heading leading to a tennis match. When we walk onto the court to play, uh, what to think, how to think. Uh, simple things to, to play better tennis and one little quick comment about the US Open. Um, what a wonderful final. We had uh, uh, Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal. I think overall was a very good tournament in the women's side too. We have a very good final, Samantha Stossur and Serena. Uh, Serena really played very well this summer uh, and, and, and Samantha uh, uh, showed us that the, the, still the old school serve and volley, uh, not, not in every point but uh, very often, still works for some players. There is a room for serve and volleyers in our game. So we're going to move to the topic today. Uh, and, and hopefully it's going to be really helpful for, your, uh, for all levels, adults, college, professional players, junior players. Okay, we're going to uh, talk about um, uh, how to think. Uh, uh, when we're going to play a tennis match, the problem that we have, we do we make too many, you know, uh, assumptions about, okay, I'm going to play bad, I'm going to play good, based on what we have done the day before, the week before, or the morning eh, before when we were hitting balls and the warm-up uh, time and, 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 and we feel bad, for example. So we are assuming I'm going to start bad. It's, it's not my day because I'm not hitting the ball well in the warm-up. Or I'm going to play the best match in my life because I'm hitting the ball well. Expect nothing. That will be probably the title of the first uh, topic. Expect nothing. Just go walk into the match thinking, okay, nothing. Just I'm going to do my best and that's it. Okay? Don't overthink about the opponent, the conditions, your own game. Just once again, expect nothing. Number two. Once the match starts, this is very important, please, coaches, uh, uh, if you are uh, working with junior players, uh, uh, even advanced juniors, uh, make sure you tell them to don't uh, give, uh, they need to have time and learn to, to understand, we need time to settle down, to relax, to, to find the rhythm, the timing. It's not just stepping into the court. Uh, the opponent serves, we miss the ball, oh, now I'm not feeling the ball today. Uh, or you miss the first point because you make a mistake during the rally. Come on, I mean, give yourself time to find the pace, the rhythm, uh, everything. Confidence level, this feeling the spin, adjusting to the opponent's shots, right? A uh, uh, type of shots that you're receiving, uh, serves, and all the stuff. So, be patient. Uh, maybe it might take maybe a few games to, to adapt, to adjust to, to the opponent's game and your own feelings. So be patient. Don't assume that you're going to play bad or well based on the first few games. Number three is uh, don't let the score determine the emotions, you know, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, okay, I'm losing. Remember, I said expect nothing, so if I'm expecting nothing, okay, whatever happens, happens, but suddenly I'm down 3-0. I was playing well in the warm-up and in the first few rallies, but I'm down. So don't be, you know, upset, frustrated, angry, uh, all those bad, sad, all those, you know, losing your mind, because you're losing. Uh, uh, just maybe you gotta be open-minded and analyze, able to analyze what is going on. What, why are you losing? Are you losing because you're making errors? 
or because the opponent is killing you with winners, or it's a combination of both, just, or maybe you didn't find the rhythm yet. So, come on, just let it go. Even if you lose the first set, a new set, a new match, it might start in the beginning of the second set. So try to stay calm, composed, especially if you're losing. If you're winning, just don't celebrate. Don't get overly excited. Just keep playing, do the same. It's been working successfully until then, and that's it, and move on. Number four, uh, quickly, rapidly, and this is very important, try to study the opponent's game. We talked about that before, but it's important to spend time uh, in analyzing the opponent's strength and weaknesses. Uh, 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 you know, I mean, it's, so it's not just about my shots, it's about what is going on in the other side of the net. Uh, so, so study, you know, the tendencies, preferences, uh, uh, style of play, uh, and more importantly, the first thing to look at. People laugh when I'm saying, "What is the first thing that you look at somebody when, across the net when you're doing, you know, the first uh, the shots and the warm up?" They said, uh, uh, "Grips, uh, whatever uh, power." I said, "Look if he's or she's lefty or right-handed, because that will change the whole dynamic of the match. That's the first thing to observe." So lefty, the, the, the geometry changes, the shots changes, so your serving location might change. Their shots are gonna be different, so that will probably be the first consideration. And then of course, grips, styles, and so on. But once again, quickly study the opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Number five is related with very simple thing. Uh, if you are better or same level than your opponent, it's about how can you impose your, your, your game, right? How can you really dictate play, dominate that particular match? It's very important to do uh, in a manner that you feel comfortable playing within your range of, of, of your own game. If he or she is better than you, definitely better player, hits the ball harder, deeper, better placement, more pace, just study, don't be upset, don't get discouraged too soon. Just try to see how can you really neutralize that eh, power, that power. So it's about defense, surviving, eh, being humble, running down balls that day. You might probably lose that match. But you're going to gain a lot of respect from the other side of the net by fighting, trying the best you can. So, going back and uh, summarizing the, the whole idea, recapping everything, I will say uh, don't uh, assume anything, just expect nothing, just doing your best. Uh, give yourself time to find the rhythm, the strokes, uh, stay calm, composed, based regardless what the score is you know, losing or winning, uh, discovering the opponent's strengths and weaknesses very rapidly, quickly, and finally, uh, about imposing, adjusting, reacting. See, so is that will be determined by the level of the person you're playing against. So that is probably part of the intangibles as well, but to me, um, I see so many people doing the opposite. Eh? I will tell you quickly. First of all, they are assuming how they're gonna play before. I'm gonna play bad, I'm gonna play good. Uh, then they don't really give themselves time to find the rhythm because they lose the first game, they are assuming I'm gonna play bad, my shots, my forehand is not going today, my backhand is terrible, just few games. Uh, uh, they don't see what is going on in the other side of the net, they get upset too quickly because they are losing 2-0 in the first set. And, and they never understand the dynamic of the match, you know, about imposing, adjusting, neutralizing, dictating, defending. So it's, that is the magic, the beauty of tennis. And so I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm open for questions, uh, suggestions. Um, the last video that we made about girls 
was very successful. I hope you 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 you, you watched it because I, I heard wonderful comments. Uh, so I hope uh, uh, we, we 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 do more videos about you know junior tennis adults. In the next video, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about college tennis, how to get to college, all the different divisions eh, that, that you you are able capable uh, to play. Okay, eligible to play here in United States. Uh, thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time on the court.